Hey, friends, I know there's many of us in the same boat. We've eaten too much over the holidays. So it's time to pay the piper to dance with us. So I'm going to be trying to cut back any fat that I can, uh, at least for a while, you know, to try to shed the extra weight that we got. So the next few uh, videos will be about air frying because it really does take out a lot of fat that we can save on. So I'm doing fried green tomatoes. Now the first thing we did was slice the tomatoes and we used a mandolin and poor Teresa didn't have the guard on. So she kinda nipped herself a little bit. So if you use a mandolin, <laughs> if you use a mandolin, make sure that you are using the guard because mandolins are very sharp, especially ours, because mm -hmm. it's a real deal, you know, stainless steel one. So uh, she sliced the tomatoes on a mandolin, put them in the colander, and salted them because green tomatoes contain a lot, lot of water. And plus, I've even patted them dry a little bit more. Um, now, I'm going to just sprinkle them with a little more salt. And I'll put that extra salt in our flour. Now, this recipe um, says to put in buttermilk and then into flour. And sometimes I do that, but sometimes, depending on the kind of mood I'm in, I will flour them, buttermilk them, and then panko them. So, you know, it may produce a little bit more crust, but um, I think that's the way I want to do it today. So, you know, it, it's uh, going to be your party, so do it the way you want to for sure. All right, so I'm going to put our buttermilk. I've got our flour right there. And I'm going to put our uh, buttermilk in the second one and I'm going to put our panko in the third one and I'm going to go ahead and bring my air fryer oven over here so when I get them ready I can put it right in there and I have put a parchment paper you know to just cut back on the cleaning a little bit so in the flour, not not too thick. You know, you don't want it too thick. You want to just kind of dust it. And then into the buttermilk. And then into the panko. I just am a real panko lover. I just really, really like the crunch that it gives it. So I'm going to lay them in there. Doing this one at the time. You know, and like I said, if you want to cut back on the crust, you can skip this step and just go uh, straight into the buttermilk and then into your flour or panko, whatever you choose to use, whatever coating. These are beautiful, beautiful. Uh, green tomato slices. All right, y'all, I've done a little finagling with my air fryer. Uh, I decided that rather than laying these down on a solid piece, I want to get them up so that heat can go to, uh, you know, all the places. And I'm going to spray this to make sure it our tomatoes don't stick. And you always want to spray. You always want to spray whatever you're cooking with uh, your non-stick coating and it doesn't add any calories so I'm going to put those down because I've got to spray the other side so I'm going to put them spray first and you know what I'm going to have to cook that one separately because we lost a little room you know when we made the decision to bring them up all right all 
So now both sides are sprayed. And we're going to put this in uh, 400 degrees. And I'm going to set it for like five minutes. And then we'll turn them. We'll see what we got. I'll turn them and we'll cook them for a little bit longer. All right. So while our uh, fried green tomatoes are cooking in the air fryer, I'm going to go ahead and make the onion relish, uh, you know, to put on top of these. It's so good. And it tells you just to dice your tomato, your uh, onions. But I'm actually, I like my onions a little bit fi finer than what we can get them with a knife. So I'm going to just run these through my teeny tiny food processor and just make them a little bit finer. But again, that's up to you and your, your palate. All right, it's very, very simple, y'all. Simple recipe. Uh, it's mayonnaise. Brown sugar. I'm going to mix that real good. And this is supposed to sit in the refrigerator for two hours, you know, for the brown sugar to, uh, to almost kind of melt, you know, what I'm saying. All right, and chives. Or you can use parsley if you don't have any chives. I just like a little color. And it calls for a half a cup of rice wine vinegar. But I'm probably not going to use quite that much. I may wind up just using a fourth of a cup or a third of a cup. And now for our onions. And this is so good with a little dollop of this on, on your fried green tomato. Right, so I'll add a little bit more. I just don't want it too thin. And that looks perfect to me, to my liking. So. I probably used just a little bit over a fourth of a cup of vinegar. Y'all, look at these beautiful fried green tomatoes. Would you look? Now, my air fryer goes up to 430 degrees. A lot of them just go up to 400. So I wound up turning mine up to... to uh, to 430 degrees and boy Heidi they started browning so nicely uh, I'm going to go ahead and let that get started cooking and we're going to come over here and we're going to taste these bad boys so like I said play I meant to put some pepper in our flour and I forgot so I'll just put a little bit on it now uh, this is one that you'll want to eat with uh, a knife and a fork. And this would be so much better if it had set for two more hours, but it's delicious just like in 15 or 20 minutes. And like I said, this is, this is one you'll want to use a knife on because of the crispiness. And because of the skin on that tomato. Mm -mm -mm. And, you know. Mm. <laughs> so delicious. Um, you may be saying, Paula. This doesn't look low calorie, <laughs> but I know that I have saved my family on the amount of fat in this delicious recipe. So do try it. Play around with your air fryer. 
um, I opted to bring mine up so the hot air could get to both sides, but I think it would have worked fine if I just set it directly on. But like I said, play with yours and uh, get it the way you like it. Love and best dishes. <laughs> Happy air frying. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.